This is the uh, Hioki 3198 power analyzer as supplied by Tech Rentals. This is the kit. Now, if, when you open it up initially, you've got the uh, calibration certificate and the accessories list. Now, if we're looking through the parts supplied in the kit. We've got the uh, power adapter to allow wiring for um, uh, Delta systems. We've got a 200 amp, 20 amp AC DC um, clamp. Now that gets, can get be used on the neutral, or alternatively, could be used, for example, if you're looking at solar rooftop solar systems. We've got three 1,000 amp clamps as well, fixed clamps, and uh, we've also got here um, four. Um, if necessary, a flexible clamp. These are the uh, 500, 5,000 amp clamps. So there's a complete range of clamps as you may need them. Now, here's the analyzer itself, also in the kit. There's the supply for the analyzer, and also there's a power supply for the clamps. The, um, the flexible clamps and the AC-DC clamp need a power supply, so if you're doing long-term logging, you may need those. There's also the, uh, all the appropriate wiring for wiring up the, uh, the, the voltages. Now when selecting which particular CTs to use, um, the advantage of the, these uh, fixed CTs, like this um, standard things, the uh, big advantage of these is the fact they require no power supply, so it's a matter of clamping them on. You've also got to have to be aware of the direction you put them. Make sure they're all the same way, otherwise you'll have a number of meaningless results. Now here's the uh, AC-DC. Now this one will have has a power supply with it and a range setting. So you need to set this range appropriately, either the 20 amp or the 200 amp range. And you also need to provide a power to it. So it needs to be plugged in by the extra external power supply. And you'll set the range. There's our power light comes on, etc. And again, for the uh, measurements, for the AC measurement, it has a direction as well so make sure you get those correct <coughs> here's our flexible clamps now the flexible clamp is uh, clipped together unlock lock you put it around the the cable the wires etc now this is switchable between 500 amp and 5000 amp and again it needs a power supply before it plugs into the logger uh, we've got it switched to a 500 amp range or a 5000 amp range and also again one has to be careful to make sure one provides power to it. Now if you wish you can put batteries but the batteries will only last around the battle uh, uh, five or six days. Again you've got to look out for this arrow you have to set the appropriate direction all of them facing the same way. Right to to uh, configure the power analyzer, we simply switch it on. There's a, a switch over here on the uh, side. I switch it on, and the instrument will boot up. First thing we need to do is uh, tell it how we've wired it. Now, it pops up default on the wiring. Um, if it's not on that, you can simply hit the system, you make sure on the system area and you can move the arrow key around here, etc. It needs to be on the wiring, etc. Now, you pick whether you're um, down here, push enter, uh, we pick the particular types of clamps. Now, here's channels 1, 2 and 3. At the moment they're set to the um, 9669s. Now, that's the... This clamp here is a 9669, so that would set those range, that range, that particular clamp. So that's the default setting. But if we're using the flexible CTs, we will need to set, select them. So we would scroll down. Now the flexible CTs, the number on those is uh, around here. They're 9667s. So if we're using flexible CTs, and here's our 500 amp range, and the uh, here we go there. Flexible CTs, 500 amp range or 5000 amp range. So if we're using the flexible CTs on a 5000 amp range, we'd select that. And uh, for the, uh, the the neutral, uh, we might select the DC clamp here, which is the 9662 on the um, 20 amp range. So it's a switchable there, so that's correct. And if you want to change the names of the phases, you can there. Now, having selected the, the particular clamps, we then have to define how we've wired it. So we'll bring it up here. Now, 
um, there's different types of wiring etc so you'll need to anal have a quick look at your system and try and figure out exactly how you're going to wire it. If it's a delta you'll use the uh, adapter. When these are wired you'll, you'll get this, um, at the moment it's connected to nothing, you'll get this phase relationship will be shown and it'll be pretty clear if you've done it all correctly. Having wired it up, we'd typically then switch to the view mode. Now, <coughs> here's the system key. That's system, view, time plot, and event. So I want to move to view, so I hit the view key here. Now, <coughs> if I want to, um, I can look at the waveform for the voltage and current, or I can switch it to straight voltage and switch it to current. Again, harmonics, we can have a look and see what um, harmonics we're getting. Um, in various modes, but the main, the most useful one here is the um, power, uh, the DMM. So you should, when you bring this up, you should get uh, the voltages, etc. Switch that to voltage mode, switch it to current mode, etc., and make sure things make sense. They should be positive, um, etc. You shouldn't have be having negative values. If you've got the negative values, you've got the arrows the wrong way, etc. Once we're happy we've set this instrument up correctly, we've got the um, set all the wiring correctly, we've got appropriate phase diagrams here, we've had a look at the voltages, everything looks as if it's behaving itself. We then need to switch the recording mode to actually start that. Now when we switch to recording mode we can set the, um, the time interval. At the moment I've got it set to one second but this would typically be set maybe to 15 minutes. Um, one second only gives you 17 hours of recording but normally as I say 15 minutes because that's the time period which you're, you'd be um, recording information, it's a, your billing period. Um, you may set it faster than that, you may set it to one minute, there's 35 days. If you set it to, um, yeah, so you pick an appropriate rate. At the moment I've got it set to one second just so that I can actually record some data quite quickly. Now this will be the logging part of it. The next thing we've got to worry about is setting up which particular events now we can um, compare with waveforms, we can change around, we can set um, allowable limits etc on channels 1, 2 and 3 and then on channel 4 if we want to for voltage. Same thing we switch on various um, alarms for this when we um, the RMS high, RMS low etc all that sort of stuff and if we wish we can actually um, compare it to waveform in terms of um, events we can also um, have active power reactive power etc etc uh, alarms for those uh, alarms for the current and various alarms for the harmonics once you've got all of those set up how you want them it's just a matter of hitting start now the logger is now recording we could have set a time and date for it to start if you notice there was a time and date it's now writing to SD card now, if at any stage you want to stop uh, to do some something else or whatever, or move it, or I don't know what. Anyway, when we hit stop, something you've got to watch out for. Um, are you still sure you want to stop recording? Yes. Now, it will switch now to analysing mode. Now, uh, one of the things, if you want to go then, uh, it's what it's done. It's written the data from internal memory down to the SD card. It, you cannot do um, you can look at the data etc you can view the events which have occurred you can view the way, um, plot time plots etc etc but you can't push start again we'll come back with this message right operation not available while an analyzing in process now that's analyzing data which is in the internal memory now we can clear the stuff out of internal memory by hitting this data reset button just here hit that and it says data reset will delete all data stored in internal memory not on the SD card so it's only internal memory enter yes now we're back to normal and we can start logging right now we're recording again and um, etc so I'm going to record a little bit and hit stop so there should be actually two logs on the SD card so I'm going to go back I'll hit um, uh, over here, we see we've got to hit system, uh, record, waveform and memory uh, and they're the two logs which we've taken to date because we started it twice. So now 
um, it's in analyzing mode we can't start again we'd have to do a data reset which is removing the data from the the logger's actual memory but not removing it from the SD card now we can recall stuff from the SD card if we if necessary if you want to bring it back in for all the data's there so that's the um, Hioki 3198 as supplied by Tech Rentals. It's very precise, uh, highly configurable, easy to use system, and uh, Tech Rentals supply um, a very comprehensive kit with everything you'll need.